Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to connect Telegram bot to Google Sheets. So in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed explanation on how you can connect Google Sheets with Telegram bot. So here my objective is that whenever in my Google Sheet, I'm going to add the post content and the post title in a new row, then I wish to send that as a message in my Telegram group. So let us move ahead with this. So here, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. So the trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So here, to automate and integrate this entire process, our trigger application will be Google Sheets because in Google Sheets, we are going to add the post title and the post content in a new row and our action application will be Telegram bot, which will help us to send a message in our Telegram group. So now trigger application will be Google Sheets and the action application will be Telegram bot. So our overall objective is that whenever in a Google Sheet, I'm going to add the post content and the post title in a new row, then that should be sent automatically as a message in my Telegram group. So let us integrate and automate with Pabli Connect. Now to begin with the process, this here is the landing page of Pabli Connect. So here as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you are going to get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I have named it as connect telegram bot to Google Sheets. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as telegram. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to connect Telegram bot to Google Sheets. So as I've already mentioned, that in a Google Sheet, I'm adding the post title and the post content. And now I want to share this post title and the post content in my Telegram group that I've created with my social media managers. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications. So here that is why I'm using Pabli Connect to automate this entire process. So now moving to my trigger window, as I'm adding the post title and the post content in a Google Sheet, so here my trigger application will be Google Sheet. So my objective is that whenever in this Google Sheet, I'm going to add the post title and the post content, then automatically that should be sent to my Telegram group. So now to do this here, going back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to select the trigger event that will be new or updated spreadsheet row. So this trigger will start working whenever a new spreadsheet row will be added or updated. So I'm selecting it. So now moving to my action window, as I'm connecting Telegram bot with Google Sheets. So over here in this action window, Telegram bot will be my action application. So here it is. And now the action event will be to send a text message or reply. So I'm selecting this as the action event because in Telegram group, I want to send a message that I've mentioned in Google Sheets consisting of the post title and the post content. So here you can see I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So here my objective is that whenever in my Google Sheet, I'm going to add a new post title and the post content, then automatically that should be sent as a message in my Telegram group. So now to do this, firstly, I have to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So to do that, here a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. 
So read this help desk given below carefully because this will help you to connect your Google Sheet with Pably Connect. So let me show you how you can connect this Google Sheet with Pably Connect. So here I've created this Google Sheet by the name of Telegram. It consists only of two columns. One is for the post title and second is for the post content. And it only consists of one sheet that is by the name of sheet one. So over here, as you can see that I've added the title and the post content. And over here in this Telegram group that has been sent as well. So now let me tell you how you can do the same. So here in this Google Sheet, I'm going to mention a post title and post content. But before doing that, I will take you to extensions and make sure you have this Pably Connect webhook extension. If you don't have it, you can simply go to get add-ons. And over here in the search bar, you just have to search for Pably Connect webhooks. Here it is. And as you can see that I've already installed it. So it says installed. You can also follow the same process to install this extension. So now I'm going to close this. So over here, I will go to extensions, go to Pably Connect webhooks and click on initial setup. So now here in this initial setup, I need to mention the webhook URL and the trigger column. So here the selected sheet is sheet one. So it clearly states the webhook URL will be set up on the below selected sheet. So here I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Pably Connect, I'm going to copy the same and then over here, I'm going to paste it. So once I've mentioned the webhook URL, now I need to select the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column on which the data is to be added and the whole of that row data will be sent to this webhook URL. So over here, this only consists of two columns. So B will be my trigger column. So I'm going to mention B as the trigger column. So now I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that the setup has been configured successfully. So now I'm going to close this. So over here, before adding the post title and the post content, make sure to go back to extensions, go to Pably Connect webhooks and click on send on event. So by clicking on send on event, you are making sure that every time when in a new row, a new post title and the post content will be added, that will be sent to Pably Connect. So here I'm going to click on send on event. So once this is done, it is very important to refresh the page once. So I'm going to refresh the page. So now once I've done that, here I'm going to mention the post title and the post content. So let me take you back to Pably Connect and here you can see it is waiting for a webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so the data can be recorded over here in the webhook response. So that means now in this new row when I'm going to add the post title and the post content that will be automatically captured in Pably Connect. So let me add the post title and the post content over here. So here in this new row, I've mentioned the post title and the post content for the same. So that means this would have been captured in Pably Connect. Let me take you back to Pably Connect. And yes, we have received a response. So here in the response received, you can see the trigger column as B, spreadsheet name is Telegram. Here is the spreadsheet ID, spreadsheet name, row index, post title and the post content. So here that means the details which I've added in a new row in the Google Sheet is successfully captured over here in Pably Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever in a new row in Google Sheets, I'm going to add the post title and the post content that will be automatically captured over here in Pably Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So now moving further, as I want to send this as a message in my Telegram group. So now to do that, moving to my action application that is Telegram bot and the action event is to send a text message. So firstly, I need to establish a connection between Telegram bot and Pably Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. And now here to add a new connection, I have to mention the token. So read here the steps given below because this will help you to find the token. So now I'm going to take you to my Telegram account. Over here, I'm going to search for bot father. Here it is. So now as stated in Pably Connect, I'm going to click on start. And over here, as it is mentioned that I have to search for slash new bot in order to create a new bot. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to slash new bot. So over here, it says, all right, a new bot. So over here, I need to choose a name for my bot. 
सो आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट द नेम एज टेलीग्राम न्यू बॉट सो नाउ आई नीड टू सिलेक्ट अ यूजर नेम एंड मेक श्योर दैट अंडर स्कोर बॉट इज मैंशनड सो ओवर हियर आई एम गोइंग टू नेम माई बॉट एज टेलीग्राम न्यू बॉट अंडर स्कोर बॉट so here you can see that this username is invalid so i'm going to go with a new one so that will be bot telegram bot and underscore bot so over here you can see that a new bot has been created and i can find the bot by clicking on this link so now to make this bot in my conversation so here i'm going to click on start so you can see now this bot is in my conversations going back to bot father here is the token given that i want to mention in pably connect so i'm going to copy the same and here in pably connect in order to establish a connection i'm going to paste this token and now i'm going to click on save so now here you can see that a connection has been established successfully between telegram bot and pably connect so now going back to telegram over here you can see that this is the new bot that i have created and now as in pably connect it is asking for a chat id so here i need to enter the chat id for the target chat so over here in telegram this is the group that i have created by the name of post content group where i want to send this message so here in this url this is the chat id so i'm going to copy it and here in pably connect i'm going to paste the same so now moving back to telegram once again so as in this group this bot is not a member yet so now i'm going to add this bot as a member and make sure to make this bot as the admin in order to send the message over here in this group so the same process can be done through your mobile phone so you can add the bot by using your mobile phone and make him as an admin as well so now here you can see that i have added the bot as the admin in this group so here you can see that the telegram bot has been successfully added as a admin in this group so now going back to pably connect over here i need to mention the text message so this is the text message i want to send and now as i want to mention the post title and the post content so i am going to map it basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step so here i have mapped the post title and the post content and the message goes as hello team kindly share this post on wordpress so now as i have mapped the post title and the post content this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information would have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map the information so now scrolling ahead with these details so now over here simply i am going to click on save and send test request to see the response so here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive response so now i am going to take you to my telegram group and over here you can see that a new message has been sent consisting of the title and the content so over here that means the message which i wished to send on my telegram group consisting of the post title and the post content is successfully sent over here in my telegram group so this automation and integration is a successful one that means now whenever in my google sheet i'm going to add the post title and the post content in a new row that will be automatically sent as a message in my telegram group with the help of telegram bot not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel